आई एम रेनू पारी एंड आई एम असिस्टेंट प्रोफेसर इन बियानी गर्ल्स कॉलेज आई एम गोइंग टू टेक वीडियो लेक्चर ऑन इन्फॉर्मेशन प्रोटेक्शन एंड सिक्योरिटी ऑन द बिहाफ ऑफ गुरु के पी ओ सो इन द लास्ट टॉपिक वी हैव कवर्ड द प्रिंसिपल ऑफ सिक्योरिटीज मीन्स वॉट इज सिक्योरिटी वॉट आर द प्रिंसिपल ऑफ सिक्योरिटीज एंड टूडे वी विल डिस्कस द टाइप ऑफ सिक्योरिटी अटैक्स मीन्स वॉट टाइप्स ऑफ अटैक्स बेसिकली ऑन द इन्फॉर्मेशंस सो जनरली वैन वी टॉक अबाउट द अटैक्स सो देर आर टू टाइप्स ऑफ अटैक्स जनरली इन आर माइंड कम्स फर्स्ट फर्स्ट अटैक्स इज द कॉमन पर्सनस पॉइंट ऑफ व्यू अटैक एंड सेकेंड इज द टेक्नोलॉजिकल अटैक्स सो वैन वी टॉक अबाउट द कॉमन पर्सनस पॉइंट ऑफ व्यू अटैक सो वी सैड देर आर क्रिमिनल अटैक्स लीगल अटैक्स and uh, information attacks and all this so when we talk about the criminal attacks criminal attack means some person hide the information on your computers like the credit card information uh, he can steal and legal attacks means the person basically convey the jury system th that i am correct and the other side is false suppose we have purchased some uh, items on the internet site ओके एंड द पर्सन सैड दैट साइड इज फॉल्स एंड आई एम करेक्ट बिकॉज आई हैव पेड ऑल द अमाउंट्स टू दैट साइड बट दैट पर्सन डिड डिंट पे एनी अमाउंट टू दैट साइड एंड ही कन्वे द जूरी सिस्टम दैट आई हैव पेड सो दिस टाइप ऑफ अटैक इज कॉल्ड द लीगल अटैक एंड अनदर टाइप ऑफ वेरी फेमस अटैक इज द पॉपुलर अटैक पॉपुलर अटैक सपोज सम स्टूडेंट्स वॉन्ट्स टू नेम दे आर ऑन द न्यूज़ पेपर एंड ऑन द इंटरनेट साइट सो दे कन्वे द फॉल्स इन्फॉर्मेशन टू द अदर्स दैन दिस टाइप ऑफ अटैक इज कॉल्ड द पब्लिसिटी अटैक नाउ वी विल टॉक अबाउट द टेक्नोलॉजिकल अटैक्स एंड दिस टेक्नोलॉजिकल अटैक इज वेरी इंपॉर्टेंट इन द एम सी एज बी टेक बी सी एंड एवरी सिलेबस यू कैन सी दिस टाइप ऑफ अटैक्स एंड दैट इज वेरी इंपॉर्टेंट and this is also called the security attacks and these attacks are the two types one is theoretical concept and the second is the practical concepts so theoretical concept attack are the two type passive attack and the active attack so passive as the name indicate passive means silently observe the information okay and silently means there is no modification no alternation there is no replay type of attack only silently observe what information is going from sender to the receiver this type of attack is called the passive attacks and these attacks are very dangerous because we cannot detect these type of attack because the attacker silently observe the information suppose Uh, uh we will also call these type of attack is the interception we have already talked in the principle of security what is interception interception means no modification on the contents of the data and on the messages so passive attack is also of two types one is traffic analysis and another is a release of message contents so first i will talk about the release of message contents so release of message contents means suppose uh, we are releasing the messages on the telephone lines when we are talking to someone else suppose uh, we are talking with our friend and someone another attacker is observing the telephone lines so through the speaking words he can analyze what type of information we are sharing and you know about the call is hacking so this type of attack is called the release of message content another type of release of message content is like we are sending an email to our friend or a company or an organization to our school colleges and all and uh, release of message because the message is releasing from sender to the receiver so again there is a observer or there is a silent attacker who can analyze or who can listen the information and hike hack the that type of information so this is called the release of message content and another type of passive attack is traffic analysis okay suppose uh, in the telephone communication line we are actually releasing the messages okay suppose uh, we encode our messages that encoding i will discuss in our later uh, episodes so we are encoding our information encoding means suppose uh, my name is renu and i encode and i replace r with the 
letter of M E with the letter of someone suppose uh, T. So, this is called the encoding means hide the information. Suppose we hide the information and then release the messages. Then what an attacker will do? Attacker will observe the contents of the message means if there are words or there are letters that are repeating. Okay, so, according to the repeating letters he can decode that letters or he can identify what is the actual message, what is the secure message. So, this is the traffic analysis attack. So, when we talk about the passive attacks, these attacks are very very dangerous because we cannot detect these type of attacks, we can only prevent. So, prevention is very necessary when we are talking on the phone, when we are sending emails and when we are sending information on the encoding form. So, encoding process is very very secure or high technological encoding we have to use to prevent these type of attacks. Now, second type of attack is active attack. Active attack as the name uh, implies, active attack means these are active attackers means these attackers can modify the messages, can alter the messages and represent the false information uh, to the users. So, when we are, uh, talk about the active attacks, these are three type modification, interruption and denial of service. Modification means suppose we are sending uh, an email to our friend. So, attacker modify that email and again send this type of e email to our friend. So, we call these type of attack is the replay attack and alteration. Replay attack means again we modified suppose A and B are the legitimate user and C is the unauthorized user. So, A hack the uh, computers of sorry C hacks the computers of A and modify the contents and then send to the C. So, what C will think? C will think that messages come from the A but the messages come from the C. So, these are the replay attacks because C is again sending that message to C and in the alteration form. So, both replay attack and alteration combined and modification will turn on to the messages. So, this attack is also very dangerous, we can detect these attacks and we can also, but we cannot prevent only detect. Now, this is the interruption, interruption again the some user C is interrupting the A and B communication because he is sending the false messages, he is sending the modified messages, so this is called the interruption attacks. Now, the denial of service attacks, this attack is also very important, denial means suppose uh, the user A send a email message to user C and the login window is open. And suppose some user C come on to the uh, come on to the A seat and again he is sending the login information to the B. So, again and again he is filling the login window means username and password, he tries to hack the site of the A or email of the A. So, when legitimate user A comes on to their seat and when uh, fill the information about the username and password, but the site will refuse to enter the legitimate user onto that email site. So, denial of service means legitimate user cannot access the right service of its own because of the attacker of C. So, this is called the denial of service attack and so these two type of attack is very very important and in any interview and in the BTEC, AMTEC, AMC uh, syllabus these attacks is very frequently asked. So, uh, now the practical concept, we have talked about the theoretical, in theory or actually we see these type of attacks. So, how we actually impl implement these attacks on the practical basis? So, on the practical ba basis, we will talk about the application level attack and network level attack. Application level attacks means some information, on the information the attacker attacks like uh, suppose user A is using the credit card and the attacker is steal the credit card information. So, this is called the application level attack. And network level attack, what generally do in network level attack? Attacker slows down the speed of the network and sometime all the network halts down. 
So, these type of attack is called the network level attacks. So, uh, how these type of attacks actually implement in the practically? So, these type of attacks generally implement, uh, we call these type of uh, implement is the virus, worm, trojan horse, client side programs and cookies. So, what is virus? So, virus basically when we talk, so we will talk on the both basis application level attack and network level attack. In both type of attacks, the virus will work. How the virus will work? Virus is basically a piece of program code that is attached to the legitimate program and harm the system. Because when the legitimate program runs, the virus is also run and virus is also work. So, in this way it entered into the application or onto the network and in application it harms all the information and in network level it slows down the network and sometimes halts all the network. So, this is called the virus and virus has also uh, various type of viruses are dormant virus, stealth virus, dormant virus means this is the ideal virus. Uh, when we click or when we suppose type on the keyboard or then that type of virus will activate or stealth virus. Stealth virus is very very smart virus because for protection of the virus generally we install the antivirus. So, when the virus actual virus is hide from the antivirus software then this is called the stealth virus. And next is the worm. Worm basically is, uh, Somebody says the virus and worms are the same, but not worm is different from the virus. Actually, worm uh, basically eats the system resources, gradually decreases the speed of the system because of the worm. Worm generally, what does worm? Worm eats the system resources. Suppose it enters into the uh, document file, suppose renu.doc, and there is a worm, then certainly the size of that document will decrease because of the worm and the trojan horse. Sometime trojan horse is called the type of virus and this is called the hidden programming piece. And trojan virus what the, uh, how the trojan virus work because uh, suppose there is a login window. So, trojan uh, horse virus will hide into this window. So, when user entered the information here suppose renu and password is suppose 1234 then that information from that information the trojan horse virus is also entered and entered into the program or computer or laptop. So, in this way trojan horse means silently it will enter from the legitimate users login window. So, this is called the trojan horse application or network level attacks and because it harms both the level of attacks application as well as the network level attacks. And the client side programming, uh, do you know about the ActiveX controlling JavaScript and all? These programs are the client side. So, generally, uh, suppose the legitimate user wants to harm its own organization, so he develops a program that is full of uh, viruses and worms. So, this is called the client side programming. And cookies. Cookies is basically uh, a ID or number that is generally create onto the client side, okay. So, cookies uh, if the client is using unauthorized access then it will harm the application level and network level attacks also. So, these type of attacks today we have discussed and these are very very important and uh, in the next lecture we will discuss about the cryptography what is cryptography what is crypt analysis and the what the crypt analysis and all the algorithms about the symmetric and asymmetric algorithms and about the, what are the des idea blowfish and all rsa and all so thank you so uh, this is the video lecture on behalf of uh, guru kpu and please like share and subscribe this video okay, namaste Thank you.